Dear Carrie, I've heard that the cycles approach can be great for children with a lot of phonological processes, but I don't know where to start. Which processes should I target first with the cycles approach? And what words do I use to practice each one? Signed, Lost in Cycles. Hey there, Carrie Clark here with Speech and Language Kids, and welcome to De Dear Carrie, the SLP advice column. I'm gonna be answering your questions, so I'm gonna answer this one today, but if you have a question that you would like answered, you can type that into the comments and I will be pulling from questions in the comments to make future videos. So type your question in the comments, but let's talk about the cycles approach. So I'm gonna show you a couple of resources that I have that I use when I am trying to figure out which uh, targets to uh, use with the cycles approach. So if you're unfamiliar, the cycles approach was created by Barbara Hudson, and it is an approach for, like this says, children that have a lot of phonological processes. They have a lot of speech errors going on at once, they're usually highly unintelligible. So the idea is instead of working on one phonological process or one speech sound at a time, you cycle through their different errors. So you might work on this one for a week and then this one for a week and then this one for a week and then you go back and you start over. And what the research has shown is that this approach really does create faster progress in terms of overall intelligibility for these children. So. How do we start? That's the, that's the biggest, uh, I think, barrier to this is just knowing where to start. So this is the cycles page over on my Speech and Language Kids website. You can type in speechandlanguagekids.com and search for cycles in the search bar, or I'm gonna leave the link below this video if I can. So if you scroll down, there's some general information about cycles, but here we go, which processes to target first. So Barbara Hudson has laid this all out very nicely. Here is, right here, the primary set of targets. These are the ones she suggests you start with. So you start with syllable deletion. So that would be unstressed syllable deletion or not being able to produce all of the syllables in a multisyllabic word. That's the first one. Sound deletion is next, final consonant deletion, initial consonant deletion. S clusters, even if it is a young child, if they're stimulable, you add that in, S clusters. And then fronting and backing. So this would be your K's and G's or your T's, D's, and B's and P's, depending on what they're struggling with. She also targets the liquids L and R in this initial, initial phase, even if they're not stimulable. The reason is because this one really impacts um, intelligibility. So they don't have to be perfect if it's a young child, uh, but just trying to get approximations of R and approximations of L if they can to hit that liquids one. So that's the primary set of targets. Now, the question also included what speech sounds do we target within each, within each phonological process? And again, she's laid that one out too. So we're gonna sc keep scrolling down. If you come to this part on my website, what phonemes to choose for each phonological process or pattern? She has specifically listed the ones she recommends you use because number one, they're gonna impact intelligibility the most, and number two, they're going to give you um, faster change. So you're going to be able to make faster progress with these very specific sounds that she has picked. Now, I have also made this easier for myself by creating a cheat sheet. So this is my cycles kit, which you can find on this page right up here at the top. Um, but this is, if you scroll down, there's general information including all the things we just talked about. But here's the, the planning sheet that I created for myself. So this kind of breaks it out. Here's the process and here's the phonemes. She suggests that you choose one to three targets or phonemes per process that they're struggling with and you target each one for 60 minutes in therapy before moving on to the next one. So for this, I would say, okay, is the child having syllable deletion? If so, I check the box here. Um, and then I would choose one to three of these targets for this process. So I might say, okay, um, we're going to work on two syllable words and three syllable words. Now, if the child is able to do two syllable words, obviously I'm not going to target that one. So for this one, I would just have the one of the three syllable words. Now we go to the next one. Are they using initial consonant deletion? If so, I check. And then if they are, I'm going to choose one to three of these final consonants from the, the recommended list to target. And again, each one of these gets 60 minutes of therapy ideally over the course of one week. So you would say maybe three 20 minute sessions or two thirties or one sixty. So I would choose the ones I'm gonna do and then just keep going through like that. So 
we've got syllable deletion, initial consonant deletion, final consonant deletion, medial consonant deletion. And then we've got S blends, choose one to three of those. Velars if they need it, backing if they need it, and then gliding of liquids, I'd choose one to three of these, okay? So for each of those in this kit, I've also created a worksheet where you can pull the words from. Um, we also have a course, a course on the cycles approach if you need more in-depth information about how to do it. But that is the answer to the question. How do we choose our processes? We start with these. And how do we choose our sounds? We start with these. So I hope that's helpful. Again, if you have a question you would like me to answer on my Dear Carrie segment, you can type that into the comments below and we will be pulling from those for future videos. If you need access to the cycles information, you can look for the link below or you can go to speechandlanguagekids.com and type cycles into the search bar at the top. That will give you this page, which has access to an, a free video, our kit, and then the course is down at the bottom if you need the course, and that's there. All right, thanks so much, and I will see you next time on Dear Carrie.